This is Cycle 3, Week 24. Composers, we are learn learning about Hans Abrahamsen today. He is a Danish composer. What's different about him is that he is still alive. So DC tells us to just review the three composers from last week, but I thought that it would be fun to learn about another composer because I felt like we really have been reviewing all throughout this time anyway. And this will show kids that um, people are still composing music and it's still a real, real thing because I think a lot of everyone that we've studied up until this point has been dead and it's still alive and um, still a, a thing that people are doing. Um, so there is not going to be a five minute Mozart or a live Disney musicians about him because he still is pretty new. He's famous, but he's still new. Um, so I do have some facts about him in your directions, um, instructions, but if you would like, it might be worth it to go on and kind of get a little bit of a life story about him that is appropriate for your age class and level. Um, or you can just use the facts that I have and that's fine. Um, so today we are um, sorry, and he is in the modern period, so he doesn't, modern is kind of defined as it doesn't necessarily fit into any one category, and you can talk about that and what that means um, for his work. Um, and he actually, within his own work, doesn't conform into a certain style, like his um, orchestras, some are big, some are small, some have different um, strings a different amount of strings and those kinds of things so even within a composer they're not always going to be the same all right we are building today um membranophone i think i'm saying that right probably not actually i'm saying that right so i have instructions in your book i'm going to show you how to do it as well but at the end of your instructions there is what you're supposed to listen to while you're playing this. So I do have the YouTube clip of what you're supposed to be listening to. It's just all the way at the end. It's not at the end of the three main facts, just so you know. Okay, so you are going to get, depending on your age level, the two older classes are gonna get a whole water bottle. The younger classes are gonna get a pre-cut water bottle with a, I'm trying to find it, with a hole. See that right there? Punched into it, okay? Um, the older classes are gonna be able to do that themselves. I just made it a little bit easier for the younger classes. You are going to, every student is gonna get a glove, a straw, and a um, rubber band. And everyone needs a piece of construction paper. Okay. So you're going, these are all brand new water bottles. We just dumped them out from Costco. They haven't been used. So don't worry about germs or anything like that. Um, so if they're not cut, you're gonna cut them and then you are going to punch a hole. This is for the older classes. You're gonna punch a hole into it somewhere around as far up as the puncher can go. Um, you're gonna keep the cap on for right now and then you are going to grab the glove, and it doesn't have to be an exact science on this, but you are going to cut off all of the fingers. I don't know if you guys can see this. Cut the fingers and the thumb. So, with that, and then you're gonna cut it up one side. So you have a piece of stretchy glove here and you these you can just throw away we will not need those at all you're gonna need a partner um, to do this so find a friend and um, you're gonna take your nope, that's the wrong half. you're gonna take your cut half with the cap on it and you're going to lay it over like this you're gonna make sure that there's no air holes or anything like that and then you're going to put the rubber band around yeah, I'll try to make sure I have one. Sorry, guys. Nope. Okay. Um, I can't find it quickly. So you're going to put the rubber band around the outside. Um, so what we found is really important is that 
these water bottles, I actually have to redo this because if you can see this water bottle kind of got dented and so it's really important if maybe just wait, especially if you have younger classes or maybe all classes to not give them to these, not give these water bottles to the kids until you tell them what to do. Because if they start doing this, it, the instrument will not work. So it needs to be pretty unbent and pretty circular, if that makes sense. And I'll show you in a second. So you're gonna put the rubber band onto it. I'm gonna switch to the one that works. So you're gonna put the rubber band onto it. You're going to take the cap off and you're going to take a piece of construction paper and roll it up and just set it inside. And if you can see, I'll try and turn this sideways. It is hitting the top of that, but it's not smashed up in there or anything, but it definitely does need to hold it. Um, it needs to make contact with that. Then you are also with that hole, you're gonna stick a straw. Let me try and find it. You're gonna stick a straw into the hole and it doesn't really matter where that straw goes. And the last step that you need to do is you need to take a piece of tape, doesn't matter, I just had scotch tape, but any tape that you have is fine. And you need to block that air passage through here. Okay, so now let me see. So that is the lovely sound that it makes, which I thought would be a great way to NCC on week 24. And that is what you are going to make and the kids are going to bring home. So like I said, the um, what you're going to listen to is on the next page. And I just kind of picked that out. So if you just want to Google Hans Amber Abrahamson and find whatever you want to play, that's totally fine. I, didn't, I just kind of picked something that um, he was well known for. So good luck.